hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch Black Butler episode 3. As always, feel free to leave a like to help this channel grow or subscribe if you are new to my reactions. But back to the main topic, the Black Butler. Kuroshitsuji. She was this close to join the P4 and exclusively serve them tasty treats and tea, obviously prepared by Sebastian. But what he didn't calculate was the Mari's call, who unfortunately gave him totally wrong time, which resulted in him being the most definitely excluded from the P4 meetings. And that unfortunately might make it more difficult for Shiel to investigate the Scarlet Fox house, where Queen's relative used to live, or perhaps still lives, and resigns but is imprisoned. I honestly don't know. We also have the Prince Raja, true royalty, in the Scarlet Fox house, so it's gonna be hilarious to watch his reactions to the Western world. I'm also looking forward to seeing how Shell will get out from this difficult situation and regain his reputation back and actually join the P4. So if you're curious as well, let's tune in. Now I've heard some people saying that the anime is not living up to their expectations and i thought to myself we've literally just watched two episodes so why not give this title a chance to shine after all it is a masterpiece and i truly enjoy watching it with you guys so it looks like we have a little recap i always thought he was slightly bit more suspicious because his appearance was just too perfect you know and that's not realistic at all. How come no one actually saw through his facade, you know? No one saw through his mask. Oh, so you decided to talk to him and earlier on you were terrified to speak to him. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> well, that will be six years for this little boy. You don't understand. And didn't he hear it as well? So you did hear four o'clock. Hmm. Can that actually help though? I think it does. It's them, lower burn against a scarlet fox house. <sighs> but perhaps Shio actually has a plan if he's asking him for help and to vouch for him. I thought he won't, you know. But looking at his um, smile, it's definitely, definitely planning something. Oh, it's the parade! With our Indian royalty. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and a massive elephant. <laughs> no, I did not either. <laughs> You are not supposed to reveal in the connection because that's gonna make it harder for Xiao. But now I think Xiao, you shouldn't really stop ignoring him because that doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> no! Just what are you thinking? Can elephants really do that without breaking your bones? <laughs> After all, Shell is uh, quite delicate, I think. And Sebastian's just like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs> That's right. He needs an insider. Oh, he's making up a sub story! <laughs> and this poor, poor, naive boy believes him. <laughs> you know, someone in the comments, which I'm actually thankful for, said that these characters are like a mirror of Shell itself. So if that is the case, then definitely our Indian prince is just a naive boy living a healthy and happy life, you know. 
It's what Sho would have been if his parents weren't murdered and if he didn't have to take the position of the royal dog. <laughs> Tell no one. Hmm. Totally bought it. Like, I love it so much. <laughs> the fact that I haven't realized that uh, Sebastian is demon. Straight to his face like that? Oi! What are you thinking? Pestering him like this? All the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he's gonna snap, he's gonna snap like he's gonna snap so hard. But it's a royalty, you can't do that. He snapped. <laughs> he is also like Shiel, so you are right, honestly you're right about that. It's just like a different version of Shiel. If things went wrong and he didn't have his butler, shall we be using anyone else around at his disposal, right? Just like Maurice Cole. No way. He's not gonna budge into his room, right? He just did. He totally crashed his elephant. How does that make sense? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no pets. <laughs> I bet you would love that. <gasps> well, that's a clever choice. <gasps> Red Mondo don't want him in his room. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I'd love to lie down in a bed like that. <laughs> well, it's nice, you know, he's giving him his own bed. That's amazing, actually. But he's a rogue prince. Just where is he going? Hmm. Post room. Oh, think I know what this is about. He's gonna be giving orders to his underlings, telling them what they have to do. <laughs> Keep it a secret, you idiot. Yeah. Well, duh. <laughs> wow, he does have a lot of followers. Just how does he keep them in check? What's that? Look at him all happy. You carefree prince. Oh wow, that's great. Why is there so many paintings? Is this like a, an art room? It's quite dark in there. Well, yes. I still don't think this is a strong enough evidence against him, you know. He's got so many people underneath him that follow him and listens to him that... Unless he has some sort of hard proof. He's still not giving up. Yeah, aren't you feel ashamed? <laughs> oh, 
Those letters. Well done, Shell. One, two, three, oh, um, gee, he totally has the evidence against him. All of those flowers pouring out of his hands, full of evidence against this vicious. The rubbish hasn't been collected. Paul Sebastian! How could you make him do that? And you were just sipping your tea? How very much of your Errol Phantom hide? He was totally gained an upper hand, didn't he? No way. <laughs> He's so ugly when he does that. Oh no. No, that is really bad news. But surely Sebastian's waiting somewhere around the corner. No, his hard work just all in vain. <sighs> but Shell seems to be really surprised as if he didn't account for it. There's got to be more to that, right? Spare us this. You'll be surprised how much you can understand. That's a lie, Shiel. What is he going to do to him? Oh no. But Sebastian is not coming. So isn't this part of his plan? No, this is, this is going to be too traumatic for him. Do you remember what happened to him originally? Oh, I can't. I can't. I just, that's too much for me. Oh my god! <laughs> Was that the part of the plan for them to spot it all? <gasps> oh my god. He's fuming. All of them, so Red Monto should be somewhere there as well. Look at his face. <laughs> so he created a telephone? Oh my god. And he used the paintings to absorb it. This is some genius. It's got to be Sebastian that came up with this idea, right? Absolute genius. And the red one. <gasps> Look at that. A masterpiece. <laughs> you read what you saw. You know, I would feel bad for you, Redman, but I think you are suspicious too, but in a different way. <laughs> now you'll become nothing. <laughs> and that is your karma, I'm afraid. I mean, what worse could happen to you? Showing him pity. <laughs> that is so cruel, Shell. <laughs> oh, 
In reality, he's ugly. It's all makeup he's applying on his face. <gasps> oh my god, that is a proper revenge in Shield style. He's totally, completely destroyed him. <laughs> well, you acted like a member of sect, first of all. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, shell, shell. He's such a good actor, right? <laughs> like a little angel of death and revenge. <laughs> the mastermind. <laughs> Can't believe he's only 13 year old. No, it's all Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian's fingers dipped into everything. What's happening? No way, he's becoming his drudge. <laughs> what is this religious music? They're just making it a big, big thing. It's like a massive thing to them. It's a proper sect, I swear. This whole drudge system is so weird. Surely things like that don't actually exist. Unless you're a member of some sort of secret association. It's a nice flower, I like that. Reminds me of bluebells. Are those bluebells? Probably not. Look at the cheeky smile! <laughs> oh my god, you guys, he totally caught Marie's call. Call has been destroyed, completely eliminated. The revenge has been executed in a masterful way. I'm really feeling satisfied. But the fact that he was using so much makeup and no one realized and he was even applying eyelashes to look so pretty. Now that came as a surprise to me. I didn't realize that boy can do, boys can do that in schools and like no one even realized. So I can only imagine that he will probably drop out of school because the amount of bullying he will receive from everyone will be tremendous. I wouldn't be surprised if they like actually try to kill him. After all, everything was a lie. Oh wow. So, she'll be coming now, a member of P4, well, a drudge to a member of P4, will allow him to investigate them a little bit closer, but I'm, I can't help but worry a little bit that someone might discover that he's not actually making those teas and cakes and all sorts, because if they suspect it, if they reveal now that Cole was acting up, they'll be more on the air, they'll be more like, suspicious of everything going on around, right? I mean, that's what I'm thinking personally. So how is Shio gonna get away with all of that? I don't know. He has learned a little bit and he obviously knows how Sebastian serves him so he could sort of mirror him and he knows how to hide his pride in the pocket so it could work out. It's probably gonna be in a funny way and he will see his eyebrow twitching a lot. I hope that Prince, Prince Soma won't interrupt him in this role play. Although I truly believe that he like proper believes that this is what Shio actually is. This poor boy that just wants friends and he wants to be a drudge and join the P4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> just investigations as per Queen Victoria. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting me for my Patreon as well as YouTube membership. Always liking, commenting under my posts, that never goes unnoticed. I always read every single comment. Thank you so much for your support and have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye.